So someone has decided to make a bullet hell kind of like action Baba Zoo level pack. It also has like a trailer and art. So this is actually a really big level pack. So uh, let's go. Truth or dare? Yo, yo we, we're in a house. Okay, hold on. Well, you gotta read the lore. Bob, what are you doing? You seriously going to the mansion? You're crazy. That place is haunted. Oh, is it serious? Wait, Bob, we we're just kidding. You don't have to do the dare. Baba, our brave hero, sped towards the forest that bores this cozy little suburban neighborhood. <laughs> but don't speed too much. You might miss text. But why go to a, such a dark and dreary place? Yes, we, we just saw the dare got too far. Yes, we have. Tired of hearing the ridiculous tales of the abandoned mansion. But does Baba even have hands? Ambiguously legged creature. <laughs> all right. And put all the spooky stories to rest once and for all. Young Baba was known by someone uh, someone not easily spooked, but the sight of the mansion was enough to send a shiver down. Baba is a spine confirmed, by the way. A sideways spine. And there's some freshly baked sweets. Not a very decorated factory. Well, anyway. Baba step paused for a moment. Pushed oh pushed open. This is not this is not a push. That's an open. But sure, an eerie gust tickled Baba's back, and in the blink of an eye, the mansion door shuts. Strange creatures kept appearing with wide grins, glowing eyes, and uh, Baba now is a ghost hunter and will, and will become a puppet show master. So I just want to show off some of the music, I guess, um, because it seems like there's custom music throughout all this. Tutorial. <laughs> So much for the custom music. Uh, but okay. I mean, I already see that I have four hearts. Well, who might you be? Baba? What an interesting name. My name is me. An even more interesting name. A spirit servant of the owner of the mansion. You're trapped here and jump up to me. You'll move two tiles when you go up between floors. Your flashlight has a kick to it. One of the Where is ghost? There's no ghost. Whatever. But okay, face the skulls to destroy them. Uh, just face the skulls to destroy them. Enemies destroyed have a chance to drop a soul heart. They act as an unstackable single-use shield. All right. Okay. Well, notice that the interaction... Oh, wait, that does work? Wait, what the? I thought that wouldn't work. I thought it would need to face it, but... I kind of went on the same turn. Okay, but destroying skulls or any other enemy will progress the flag at the top. Okay, so the idea is to destroy as many skulls as you can. I also got a soul heart, which was uh, functions as extra health, obviously. Whoa! The little pack is balanced around not undoing. All right. So now we have ghosts. We, we want to kill the ghosts, right? That kills us. All right. Hmm. But how do we kill ghosts? Like, how do we get good enough? Ghosts will pick a random direction, which makes them trickier to fight, but the ghost will always move one tile towards its facing direction. Alright, non undoing, yep. Now undo. Alright, kill. And we have successfully, I think, progressed the thing at the very end, so now we're, we might be facing a boss now. After defeating all the enemies, you will be teleported to a boss room. It could be a decoy for. I sense my master approaching. Okay, but I must make a hasty retreat. Look, I don't really see anyone retreating right now. What's gonna be going on here? Four health. Oh, now the ghost, now the jelly's moving. What about the me, by the way? It doesn't even seem like the me is doing anything. I do notice the me is decorated to look like a ghost toe. Like the the bottom of the purple me creature is slightly different. Another greedy soul dares to intrude my mansion. Entering this mansion will be your biggest undoing, perish mortal. Oh no. Ow. We're supposed to get to this heart? Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Congratulations for losing. <laughs> Alright. Well, now that we're canonically dead, let's check out the treasure room. I see I have an unfortunate encounter with my master. It was rather foolish you to strike him head on like that. Defeat is part of the process. <laughs> Hopefully you are not stupid enough to waste time when doing to survive that star shot attack. <laughs> yes, okay. I can always revive you with my master's rejuvenating fruit candy, but you'll be trapped forever. Wow. Also, I'm playing as the skull and not a Baba this time. Alright. Oh, wait. Turn off. Hmm. Use default zoom. Why would you do that? Weird. Huh. Okay, that's an odd choice that the freaking game would tell you to not zoom in. But okay. We also have a journal entry. 
Young Baba, impeccable timing. I had an idea of writing a journal where you can read more about enemies and bosses you've encountered a journey. Alright. However, I can only start writing after you've played through the enemy room. And you're unable to win this level at the moment. Alright. So exit the level. Well then, let's go on to our first uh, fight. And I believe there's probably going to be action now. Uh, I don't know if we can ch check, um, turn the battle into turn-based or not. Also, since like we're back to being a Baba, kill the ghost. I guess the idea is to not let the ghost kill you. What the? Why did they disappear? Are they temporary enemies? I guess that's the case. Or I guess it must be the case. There's also something weird, really. There's something is weird going on with the heart at the top, right? I don't know what to think about it. Because despite killing enemies, I'm seemingly not progressing. What the? Why am I a B now? Freaking CBA. Unlock. Alright, well, I mean... Oh, I also, um, uh, take a look at the top of the level. I think that's relevant, right? There's an icon of the flag going back, so... I guess that's why I expect it to end by now, you know? Uh, but I just clearly need to kill more enemies. Wait, no. Wait, it's going left even, if, even though I am killing enemies. Maybe I don't understand. I mean, I'm gaining hearts, right? I think maybe the, the right indicator is supposed to be an extra heart indicator or something. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm not sure. Also, the enemies are increasing. I'm not sure what, what I'm doing wrong to not win the level by now. CBA and this ability timer. Okay. I mean, now the flag is facing right. Now I think I may maybe I misunderstood the passive. Maybe it means that I need to ki I need to get kills only when that flag on the top is facing to the right. No, because hmm. I'm not sure. I really am not. This kill. This kill as well. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, I... I don't understand why the flag took that long, but there we go. Okay, I was taking a look at the footage, and it seems like there was an arrow at the very right, like, next to the monster. And so when that flag hit the arrow, it turned left. Well, and then I... After killing enemies, it just went left. Then it bounced back, so... It, it, it was taking long, not because I need to time it with the flag or anything, but because you legit have to take, like, three runs through this back and forth. So, yeah. Definitely longer than expected. And then, what, do we have the boss? I guess this is the boss fight. Ghost King. Alright. Here we go. What are these things? The, the, the yellow glow means invincible, right? Did I not kill the ghost fast enough? I guess it's fine. Uh oh. Really? I was on yellow. Come on. Get that ghost. Get that one. Why do the other ones need to disappear like that? Hmm. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one as well. See, I'm, I'm most excited for the real time. I'm surprised that the real time element is not a thing yet. I, all right, I got one hit. Take damage. Hopefully, I freaking didn't take damage there. Good night. Okay. And there we go. Get that one. Get that one. Oh my gosh. Spaghetti monster, please. And how come some of the ghosts are freaking dying on their own? Alright, good night. Main menu? Wait, there's a main menu? UI explanation. Oh, great. Oh! My god! This is an awesome main menu. Coming soon. Bird's Curse Hunt. Final Corridor. Coming soon. Woof. Waiting for something to happen? Yes, there's nothing here. Okay, it's- the second part is not finished. But go commission me. Give the creator food. It hasn't specified whether it should be dog food, though. Okay, so this UI explanation, I checked it out, and it says basically things I already know, like the invulnerability. I even picked up on the fact that I was regaining hearts when I killed enemies. And uh, also bosses being invulnerable as well. Anyway, let's try out Treasure Room 1. 
Oh, so we've met the Ghost King? Wouldn't want me to make this with that. Uh, wouldn't want me to share this with you. But the Ghost King is not actually a king. Poses as royalty. The Ghost King always admired my master from afar. One day he came to the mansion, begging my master to make him his assistant. Reluctantly, my master agreed. He had hoped that with my master as mentor, he'd learn enough of the candy making trade to start his own candy shop. Actually, this line I haven't really looked at enough. Specifically, the part about. Overlapping enemies will not hesitate to try to screw each other. I guess that's the reason why enemies were dying without me doing anything, even the projectiles they shoot. Anyway. Also, I skipped a lore line about Keke being there for three years. Anyway. Ember Cellar. Alright. Objects other than Baba have a colored outline are defeat and invulnerable. That makes sense, yep. Alright, let's go. Destroy that, 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 that. I mean, if they're gonna walk in straight lines... Oh no, but we got a bat now. Alright, gotta avoid that. Or just kill the bat. Yes, killing the bat is easier and better. I love the color outline thing. That's, uh, it's really cool. And the fireball also looks really nice. It looks cooler than the normal fire. Oh, now what the- what is this homing fire? Gotta get rid of that. What the hell? Get out of there. Wow, that was nonsense. Okay, so the top row is an entire mess of things. But yeah, I, I'm kind of wondering if Baba would be co a cooler game if it had all of these particles. Like, some of Baba's keywords don't happen to have particles on them. What the- is the top row not usable anymore? What the hell? I don't want to touch that. Hmm. I can't even seem to get to the top row. Hmm. It just prevents me from reaching the top. Alright. Well, I am almost to the goal. Okay, I got... There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's go next. Fire Spirit. This is the boss. Of course. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Bosses are invulnerable when their body is yellow. Yep, yep, yes, 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 spaghetti monster. Wait, but that's a target, right? Oh my god, it just took damage immediately. So they're invulnerable, which means that I shouldn't do any anything. Uh huh. That should mean not invulnerable anymore. I think. This is uh what is this? Excuse me, there we go. Alright. So I guess I, I, I just get I guess I just gotta dodge. Ow. Okay, don't stand in the corner. The freaking they they have knowledge against that. I wonder why Baba needs a colored outline. Like what does it mean that the Baba is pink all the time? Okay. Um Okay, there we go. What the excuse me? Are winnable without taking any damage. Phase through a projectile. Okay. The idea is like you can like walk at a projectile. Okay. You can also idle as well to do that. So we need to make our way around this corner thing. Probably need to make a right way around here as well. And there we go. Boss still has three hearts left, and I'm at two. Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, back into this phase. Hmm. Ugh. What the freaking diagonal spaghetti monster? Was just, just why? Okay, I'm invulnerable for a turn. I might die here because this is embarrassing. Okay, once again in this phase. You can face through there. There we go. Alright, now I just need to beat this one. Here, here. Ow! What? <laughs> Alright, I got back here. Um, I have two hearts at this point. It seems like it's really strong that I get to move, like, twice the turn. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, I get to move twice the turn Uh, with the verticals but my but the skull has to make these vertical moves like the double move system is really helpful with that and it gives me a mobility advantage vertically which is nice anyway like it's it's currently really awkward to play the game like trying to play it at a fast action speed when currently the game doesn't have it 
All right. We've encountered the hot-headed fire spirit, once the mission of the mansion's handyman, working diligently to maintain the estate. For as skilled as he was, it was unfortunately in such a quick temper. We'd spend hours in the basement tinkering with the boilers. It was a form of stress relief. The fire spirit eats eats lunch and not other pieces of fire. It's very convenient to be able to eat hot food all the time. All right, have, have you talked to Bird yet? Despite the bird being scary and holding an inventory. All right, let's um. Oh ho ho, you can call me Bird. I'm a collector of ghostly sweets and oddities such as Favor chests. Alright, but I've come to the right place. I've made it my business to collect and catalog the many spectral candies and oddities that exist in this world. You can meet again in the hallway and exchange favors. Oh ho ho, how exciting it is to be Santa Claus reincarnated in bird form. There's some weird logo at the bottom as well, but I don't think I have access to those. Alright, next one. The Undead Library. Alright. Still, the skulls are only going, uh, left and right so far, so it's very easy to get them. What the? But oh my god, this freaking bug! <laughs> wow, that bug went insane places. Hmm. Bug, go away. Bug, what, what bug behavior? Cursed bug behavior! Is, is this what it's like to code a new CBA? I mean, old, old CBA? I also, by the way, uh, I have noticed that- Oops, whoops. <laughs> I noticed that- Why am I killing birds? I, I thought bird was a friend. Anyway. It's making fireballs? I mean, maybe they're friends. But, like, I noticed I didn't gain kill credit for an uh, enemy killing a stronger monster. So I wonder if I gain kill, uh, gain kill credit for the birds killing. Hmm. All right. I think. Oh my God! There's another turnaround going on at the top. Gain another heart. Even though it took two damage this round, uh, still seem to be good on hearts. Another vertical fireballs hitting me. Ow. Oh my god. Get that. Seriously, I freaking knew that bug was coming and didn't do anything about- Wow, uh, we're dying? We're dying. Okay, maybe it's time to, uh, to stop and think. Bird, go away. Alright, got that one. Got the bird- got the bug. Kill the skulls, both of them. We'll probably kill both of these as well. Kill that bird. That. Kill the bug as well. There's another bug there and another bird. I like how these purple fireballs are creating purple goop piles that I also can't touch. Oh, the, the goop pile actually locked that skull. I didn't even notice that interaction until, the, until then. I mean, I gotta wait. I have no health left. Mm. Um. Uh. Uh. Um. We can phase through, right? Yes! Okay! Oh my gosh! Dealing with uh, one health? Very scary. Alright, Necro Witch, the maker of key pick. Okay, fireballs going from many directions. Uh, ugh, we got some skulls though. Which are being gooped up before I can seem to kill them. This is a bad thing? Hmm. I don't know if I can kill the skulls on the goop. That seems like a bad idea. I. Did I even successfully freaking kill that skull? I'm not even sure I did. I think I got one. It's really hard to tell. I mean, I'm just supposed to kill the, the the cat. Oh my god! Hold on. This is not a thing about killing the uh, rest of the. Th Wait. Excuse me. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. So, I th whoops, how, why did I idle there? Okay, that was a little embarrassing. Okay, I guess it wasn't about killing the cat after all. I thought that was what it was, because the cat didn't have any uh, glow around it. 
But no, it's really, uh, I can't hit the cat right now, so we just have to survive. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we have another one of these phases, which is quite hard to, like, like, even if this was not turn, uh, real time, this is, what the hell is this situation, man? I'm forced to take a damage here. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the target is, but we should check. The target is where Goop is placed, okay. That's all it is. I'm not sure that killing enemies is making any forward progress here. And the, the flag at the top has also not been moving. Okay, switch phase now. Idle to, 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 to do that. Seems like idling in between two is like um, a great way to dodge everything. Oh, no, no, no. Didn't plan enough. Shoot. Hmm. All right. Well, damn it. That, that's, that was embarrassing. All right. Okay. Take another damage. I need to get through two more of these phases with one health, which is uh, not likely. In fact, since the top right shows the boss health, I'm not sure I'm going to gain any additional hearts from killing these skulls. <sighs> hmm. Um, phase through, there you go. Ow, damn it! Alright, let's try that again. I'm not really sure how to deal with these fate. I mean, like, yes, you should, you should probably slow down, uh, <laughs> you know. Which I don't do at when I have four hearts because action game. Ow. <laughs> okay, I've like reset like four times already. This is insane. Dude, even the freaking first phase is insane. <laughs> at least we can probably say that um it's not balanced for real time <laughs> thanks to this evidence. So at least it's not like a freaking difficulty setting I'm missing out on. I also did get into the goop a few times, and it seems like you don't take damage immediately when you get inside the goop, but then you take damage after leaving the goop. And then this phase. This one you really have to plan ahead for, I think. Because you could get very much trapped in the in the bottom corner. Ugh, I got to three hearts, um, with two with enemy hearts. I phrased that weirdly. But but it was it was a little close to being a no damage run and I messed it up, right? Took another da take another damage opponent and I if there's a benefit to trying to hit the cat at this point. Like maybe I'm missing out on some opportunity there. See that is the thing where you could get stuck if you waste even a single turn. Alright, there you go. Here's the key, which, which doesn't... Sure. And here's Treasure Room 3. You have thwarted the Necro Witch. Blah ha. Book Worm? I didn't... There wasn't a book nor a worm. That was a freaking cat. My master's curse instilled the Necro Witch with evil sugar field magic. Yes, all those skulls that the cat loves to summon. All right. Oh, Bob, it's you. Don't talk to that scary guy, the dog, who makes a career out of hunting supernatural creatures. All right. Now there are two lost kids running around. My job is to sneak out supernatural dens of evil and purge them in the name of Hunter 2 Society. Stay out of my way. You want to know more about the Hunter Society? You're not actually planning on joining, are you? Bark. What makes you think you can be at the same level that I am? If you're actually serious about joining, then meet me in the hallway. Go bring that crybaby over there, too. You could use the lesson. All right. <laughs> And then Bird, yes, the dog is just a softie, and everyone loves candy. Thanks, Spuggymon. <laughs>